Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses for the continuation of our Thrawn's Revenge 3.1 preview playthrough as the Empire of the Hand. In the last episode we fought off attacks on Ession and lost on Findar, but we did manage to push the Penistar alignment off of Yaga Minor, which means they're probably going to be uh, just left on Entrala for a while. We are going to be trying to rebuild a few of our ships. We're going to start with the capital ships. We'll get Mad Kasama, look my on TV, need a really big stick, and Thrawn would approve. Uh, here at Incor, we are going to oops, select the planet. Uh, we're going to get Shockwave, Chiss's best friend, now speak to Ormos, Grey Ghost, and it's dinner. Um... If we can take Borlaeus and Karita, that kind of cuts off another of their access points. So that's something to keep in mind. So maybe we should do that. Let's do that. Let's see what they've got going on at Karita and at Borlaeus. And... The other focus is going to be on the uh, the eastern parts of the map over here. Uh, I don't think they're invading Ession anymore. So we can move down again. Uh, I, think, I think I actually want to switch these fleets up. So you're going to Liana. You guys are going to Meridun, and I'm going to use you to attack Findar. Uh, which means we do need more ground units. Is Artist Kane still on intro? Yes. Uh, we killed him in the initial initial playthrough, uh, but when I reset all the stuff, I didn't uh, I didn't remove play heroes that we'd already killed, uh, so all of them got a second chance at happiness. Aside from our heroes, which uh, I stuck with just having Aralani for us, because we lost everyone else. I thought about giving us everyone back, but I thought, yeah, whatever. I didn't think it was hugely important. All right. When were you? You're the Black Wolf. Location lost. Heading out. And Antigo, just a regular Antigo. Andro. Tendency shield. Tendency star destroyer. Blue woman troop. Fighter's fane and fighter's bane. Fire of the other hand. And. Lord Revan's asking to take it. Overwhelming Glazanes is too broken for an honest playthrough. Uh, before 3.0 got released, there were some edits to the to the Empire of the Hand ground units. And then they got another pass afterwards, so all of them are in a much better place now than they were in public. Like, those ants are still really good, but the main broken thing about them is just that they can... They have the really big crush box for running stuff over, uh, which is a problem, but not as problematic as what they used to be, where they just run over everything. Uh, MMTs have a, a good use now, so it's all... There's nothing that I'm really locking myself out of or telling myself I'm not allowed to build. So I guess the probability didn't work that well. Well, no, it's not coming up as much as it was. Alright, 
Frank. See if we can get you out of there. Keep on this side of the allegiance. Alright. That's nice. Those updates aren't in public yet, but they are in uh, in this build. Like, I think we would have won that battle, but it would have been pretty costly. So I'm glad that they decided to leave. So it does mean we have more to deal with later. Uh, you know what? I won't. I won't build that. We will Dathmir build. Uh, let's start with Glory Hammer. Ooh, ooh. And Trash Compactor Dread. Never going to let you down. Hello, Peppa Papa. This is Thrawn's Revenge 3.1. Taking our planet back. They've only got one structure. I don't know how much of the stuff that they got here initially is still around. Uh, I'm going to go with air strikers for this because that might be the safest for a structureless attack. Well, one structured attack. What happened to 3.0? 3.0 is the current public release. This is the the next update. Preview of it. In progress. I don't think they built any AA. They were here. You guys go over there. Fire. Jesus. Open fire. Uh, okay, let's get the rest of these out of here. Yes, Commander. Ready. All out. Try to come in all together. Lord's asking, is Imperial Reign now not just speculation since you mentioned UI? Uh, Imperial Reign's in the same position it always has been, where it wasn't like just a theoretical name for a mod that may or may not ever have plans for. Like, it is something that I legitimately intend to do uh, as long as nothing super bad happens and something where there's like some work that I've actually done uh background for and like some plans explicit plans exist for it but it's not something you should expect to come anytime soon like Revan's Revenge would be before Imperial Reign ever was Like, there has been actual work done on Revan on uh, Imperial Reign. Uh, we need more stealthy boys. I'm just going to build a bunch of stealthy boys. Already on it, sir. Alright, how many pop cap is this? This is actually not that many pop cap. Seeing that now, 
see what Garros has. We're gonna see what Antimeridius has. Uh, where do we have some good ground production? You can get some, some of that for us. Get some of that for us. We need some artillery again, because it all died. Eros has a Golan 3 shipyard and allegiance. Okay, this is this is easy wins. Like, there's not much on ground there either. And that'll open up Roche to us, which will cut off all their stuff. So that's great. you think of Squadron's campaign? I enjoyed it. Like, for what it was, especially, it was AA Games tutorial campaign, so I thought it was a decent story for, for that. Alright, Black Wolf. Get in there. Tundro. Torpedo spheres to be re-added in 3.1. Uh, like specific ship stuff, it basically just depends on if the assets get done for them in time. Uh, we're trying not to do anything that requires any like specific new tech or that would be complicated to do for this version. Uh, torpedo spheres probably wouldn't fall into that category, so if the texture gets finished for it, then it'll be added. If not, it won't. Uh, that's basically how that'll go. Get up there, since we don't want you to die. Like, Squadrons is, like, very much a multiplayer-focused game. Unlike, say, X-Wing, which was single-player campaign was what it was. So I didn't expect like a super long or super in-depth thing for it, but what was there I did enjoy. I like Jabes as a character. Like, I hope he shows up in other stuff. Vanguard gets mentioned in some other stuff. I think Titan does as well, but I don't remember... If Titan, like, I'm less clear on Titan, but Vanguard, like, gets mentioned in Alpha Squadron stuff and a few other places. Uh, Lord Revan's asking, your CS single stream a while back, you said you'd like to increase the cost of probes, but increase their duration as well. I think that would be a possibility. I think that's once I get around to looking at that stuff. And once we're doing more on like the basic galactic economic reworks, that would probably end up being a fairly likely change to happen. Like there's nothing set in stone for that or specifically planned for it. It's just uh, amusing that I occasionally mention in streams and would probably end up liking to do. Because like, probe droids are useful and you just kind of spam them when you want them and it's less like an economic drawback to using them or an economic consideration when you use them. It's just how how much and how often do I want to press this button, which is kind of unnecessary. It'd probably work out better having it be a longer term thing where you're paying a significant amount of money but you're not uh, but you're getting a, a good portion, like a good amount of time with it. Which would also mean that you're less likely to just like pop them onto every planet you're invading, because uh, you like it'd be an actual investment for it. So if you're spending like a thousand credits or something to look at a planet right before you're invading, uh, like maybe that is worth it, right? Rather than thirty credits, where it's like absolutely that is worth it. <laughs> and, like literally, the only reason to not do it is because. Uh, it's boring to click that many buttons sometimes. Alright. 
Let's get the Golan. This will be an easy ground invasion as well. We know they have a T-16 back home, and they also have uh, two mines on this planet and five structures, so not the not the most. There was a change that I made, I think, before... No, no, I don't think it was before 3.0's release, uh, where I adjusted Garrison's to respawn after 30 seconds rather than after 5 seconds on ground, uh, which should help with some of the desire to like sit back and just wait for them to send everything into you so that you have an actual chance to progress uh, from killing stuff rather than hoping for the best. Oh, they got the Pathfinder. Those bastards. Should have supported it. You absolute dicks. We lost Blue Woman Troop in School What School. Blue Woman Troop, I think, to auto resolve. School What School was our Pathfinder. Reporting. Very sad times. Indeed. Tatars is pretty stacked. That's a. 70, and that's 97. Some invasions on Rygar. Uh, I'm going to move the Bilberingi fleet over there as well. Ooh, we got an artillery. An artillery, even. Check out Contrum, too. That's a capital shipyard. I always forget Contrum is a capital shipyard. Roche is light. Once we take, once we take Roche, Contrum, and Thanos, it's kind of it for them. Is Tagoria and Hakasi have, or Kashyyyk, an actual line between them? Is it just not displayed? Needs one. Hmm. Hi there, Ula. She'll probably get a new icon because uh, she's one of the characters where we just grabbed a picture of a different character because uh, there isn't an actual official portrait for her. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case with her. Uh, but yeah. Oh, we don't have an HV gun here. Yeah. Get back here, get back here. Back here, get back here, and get back here. Who could it be? This fleet that is raiding me. I keep one over here, one over here. Oh my. Yes, Commander. Understood. Roger that. Yes. Nah, we don't need it to be a powerful raid fleet. Keep going. We got this. Coming about. Ready to receive orders. Reporting. Moving out. Yes. I am unconcerned. You're gonna get in there, and you're gonna get in there. Awaiting your orders. Ready to receive orders. Ascendancy at the ready. What do you need, sir? Syndic moving out. Destroyer on route. Star destroyer comms open. 
All right, Antigone, he turn around. Ready to receive orders. Turn around. Yes, Commander, reporting in. Effort to excel, get back there. Like this fleet is just uh, deciding to kind of delay their advance on our base. So I guess we can send some fighters in. What, five bombers in this massive group. Ready for combat. All fighters engaged. And we'll send the interceptors after these bombers. But like I don't think they're gonna get to our fleet in any shape to do much. We're gonna kill their interdictor. Our shields are down. Uh, we're holding on that. We can turn in there. You know what? Just come around this way, actually. Nope. What is your problem? That's fine. Just do that, then. Let's actually switch the bombers to the Liberty. You guys are going after the XQ. Alright, now go for the home one. Have all the shields down from these guys. Be a bit more difficult to take on the shields from the home one type. So chonky. Big stick and Antigone can attack the home one type. I need to get everyone else in here. Atticus in there. I don't have a grand space weapon. The icon's just not fully set up for that, so it looks like I do. It's weird, they're just basic icon swapped, but it actually seemed to have changed the behavior for some of it, so I need to... Those require more of a, a look than some of the other stuff. The tactical UI is a lot more whip than the uh, galactic level is right now. That started much later. We'll basically hammer down the layout edits. Because, like, these buttons have actually since been moved up here, or they're going to be moved up here. Uh, like, split between the sides, and then I think the planet's going over here, some of the other information's going over there. We 
We debated some different layouts there. Having all of this over here doesn't really work because of the size of everything. But there were a few things we talked about before trying this iteration. Uh, and since doing this iteration, we've got some other edits that we're trying. So it's... Going to be adjusted a fair bit. The overall style is going to be like this. Aside from like when the actual faction skins start happening for them, but that'll be after we're solid on what the layout is. I want an HP gun there. Orders confirmed. Construction complete. That might be our best fleet, too. Tactical battle imminent. Ooh. Uh, that's not what I want. I wanted to invade the ground here, not get attacked by a elevator. You've misunderstood my intentions. Almost class carrier here, Admiral. I copy. They haven't had a level four shipyard recently, I don't think, but they did have a Bellator when the reset happened. I think this is that one. Been around for a while. Awaiting your orders. Star Destroyer comms open. Reporting. Uh. Ready to go, sir. Note this. Let's see if we can kill this ISD on the way in. If we can like kite some of this out. Yikes. Nope. I think we got everything out there. Maybe that valley. Yeah, we did lose the ascendancy shield. Shit. We just left immediately. Twice where I thought we had the engine still up on it, but it died at the end. Kind of weird. All right, ascendancy shield died there, or get back. Orders confirmed. Construction. Uh, don't want you to invade Findar, please. They're gonna send the. Construction complete. Please don't attack me with the Bellator. Live. Tactical battle imminent. They're not attacking with the Bellator. Thank you. You listened, and we can move on from there. If I had Ascendancy Shield, this would be a much better fight for us. Like, yeah, I think this is doable. Your Go in the back. Your 
You go in the back there. You get up here. Yes, sir. Deploying squadron right away. Fighters up here. If we had a grounded space weapon, that'd be nice. But we don't. So we can't get upset. Yes, Commander. Attacking. Heavy cruiser. Awaiting your orders. On standby. All fighters engage. Okay. Ready. Uh be hard to take down the allegiance first, but See what we need to do. Targeting. Ready for Starting our to the straggler. We can kill the heavy bomber at least. We can kill their bombers. That'd be handy. They don't have the most fighters in this fleet. Or the most bombers in particular. Neither do we, but that'll give us a decent advantage if they're all gone. Those... That needs powder weapons. Yes, Commander. Get out of there, get out of there. Then you guys go in there. Okay, you are gonna stay on this target. You back out. Let's, uh, go for that. No, you are supposed to be over here. The octuples. Rip. Right. Keep going for the octuples. Keep going for these octuples. Right, uh, light turbos on that side. Your main weapon is almost down itself. So much split focus, god damn it. Every engine's gone for a while. Yep. Not far. If I just kept the focus on one thing and actually sent the bombers in earlier, it would have been fine, but that's a fucking absolute waste there. Oh, that sucks. We need our Alani's fleet on that side now. What are you going to invade Ession with? Spy on you. Spy on you. Get the Rygar. Good. I don't know 
know if we'll be able to get back in time. Okay, what do you have there? I mean, if we can kill this. May as well take a win. Well, the problem with that is it's going to be... We'll like, Bilbringi's still the most defensible, but if we can take Karita, that closes up two options. And puts a... Okay, yeah, that, that's a better... That's a better setup. I think that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, look at that. They built some influence units. Well, you at least get to see the Bakura class. I don't think the Nemana was done when this, uh, when this started. I don't think they had access to the Nemanas. Well, well, what have we here? Yes, sir. Ready for battle. Awaiting your orders. Reinforcements en route. Form up. Reinforcements en route. Will the raid fleet help? We get like three belladers or something? I don't know. For an armament? So yeah, there's four medium turbos. Four medium ions. Please send in like three ISDs or something, please. All right. Uh, uh, one Cadal Bay and a Treadnought. You're just going to die to the backfire. Kill the fighters. See if... Well, you can... You're not going to be able to actually kill anything. You're just taking too much... Too much damage. But some of it will be lower health when it gets in. That's fun. Killing the MC-30s. They're up alone. We'll see if we can kill anything with this guy. Uh, two, uh, two Rokias. Still think they're warlords. Actually, a lot of MC thirties. Pulled the MC eighty B back.
Alright, just try to break through this while it's power to shield zing. There we go. Now this next one. Uh, maybe just switch while it's doing that then. Back, and you guys stay on here. Can't actually win the battle, so it's it's only worth so much for us to kill anything. Hey, scalp, how's it going, bud? How's the recovery for you? Yeah, there's fuck all we can do here. We could maybe kill that Bakura, but then as soon as the MCADB decides it wants to come and attack, we're just wasting time at that point. move away okay do we I think we just go for that belleter then we go for the belleter we take Karita <coughs> yeah everyone got super fucked last night Why did you place the original space station with cannon shipyards and golems? Uh, well, we use the cannon shipyard design because it looks better than any of the other shipyard designs, like the Fondor style from Battlefront, because they just look better than everything. Uh, the golem updates we did because they looked like shit, but the switch from shipyards being the main station to the golems being the main station, if that's what you mean, uh, was because the defensive station is like the main space station is basically the main space station so it was way too easy to jump in snipe out the shipyard because they're the weaker of all the defensive structures away from the build one level up and then any other defensive structures that the system had would be gone so we made it so that the uh the strongest defensive structure is what you'd need to kill if you were trying to do that which is why like you upgrade through the defensive structures then you can build whatever the next level lower is or any of the previous levels. Uh, so it makes it harder to abuse Empire War's broken structure system. Heading to destination. Orders confirmed. We'll get there. Right. We're going to use all of our Peltists. We'll get there. Give it a test run on the ISD here. Uh, anything fighter heavy and proton heavy if you want thank you for subscribing scalp and if people want to see someone who's actually good at squadrons play then go follow scalp because uh, whatever drunken shenanigans you get from x2 uh, you can see actual serious squadrons playing I don't know, are you going to stream today, Scalp, or are you uh, out of commission right now? The saying Twin Suns isn't a pro team? I mean, uh, we, we're there to make the other teams feel better about themselves. Ooh, you went to... You had to... Uh, that's... That sounds rough. Right. Uh, get in on there.
HV gun is a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna get this the Pelthus to start shooting the stuff at the back. Well, this one's gonna be just dead. So, what come on, Monty? They're definitely not gonna retreat. We still have to go through that whole defensive setup there. So taking out the engines early is not going to do that much for us. I did like no micro on any part of this battle. So whatever happens, I deserve it. Just throw some frigates in to take out individual hard points for Rose. All for heavies. There we go. Uh, somehow this uh, this escort carrier has survived the whole battle. No, it hasn't. Well, the Bellagers get a build amount increase and you can build as many of them as you can executors. That's not technically true. You can build uh, two at a time, which is already more than any other SSD, and you can build four over their lifetime. So you can build two pairs of two, whereas the executor, you're limited to, uh, to one at a time and three over lifetime. And a lot of the SSD limits are actually going to be going down rather than up. Like, the fact that you can have two of them at once is already a lot more powerful than uh, than a lot of other SSDs would get you. We will hopefully be getting to see a death clone here. Like, the Bellator basically has all the upsides of the SSDs with none of the downsides, because you can support them with better fleets. So... Like, they're kind of at the point where they have so much firepower that the differences, even though they are significant, aren't so much that you're really losing out on that much. Because, like, once you're pumping that much firepower into something, unless it's another SSD, uh, and even then, you can maneuver better. So there's some advantages there as well. Alright, let's see... Do we have engines on anything that's important? Everything that's important? No, not you. You on you. retreat. We're gonna lose backhand to Thrawn, but lost a lot there, but we got done. Animal Druid conquered Mandalore. I don't like that. Yeah, like, if you really want a bunch more SSDs, you can easily make those edits in your own files. It's a single line of code. But we don't want the game to just become SSDs everywhere. And especially between, like, the regular ships and heroes, I can kind of edge on that right now. So it's not something we're eager to increase. Ready. Right away, sir. We 
Let's and let's get you. Get a anti-vehicle there, and we'll get a repair turret or a repair pad there. The Gilzane's got healed, so that's that's what matters. Or didn't die at least. Not healed yet. I just gotta take cover. Pull that up. Oh yeah, this uh this actually does have the new Republic infantry updates that did ship with the release, but I haven't really been able to play with that much because I have been doing earlier versions in the playthroughs. See that kid? Have a good one. Yeah, let's focus down this one. This feels like a bit too many build pads. Just do another repair there. Like, we're just killing so much of everything. Just a bombing run. Just hit that turret. It's a lot of T2s, but T2s are anti-infantry. There's more of their actual tanks over there, so they'll be here in a second, but still. I don't like that they're entering our territory here at all. Right, there we go. So you can see the actual impact of having the... Uh, the increased respawn times. Alright. I feel like that's a lot. Sadly. Okay, let's 
go into Karita. We'll get there. I know you'll get there. That's why I told you to do it. And... I guess this fleet can just stay in this area if we get all of them here. So Tundro, Maticus, uh, that's what I'm going to prove. Backhand, Antigo, Go Bringy will get a really big stick, and Black Wolf uh, with a, an Fodio. We will get... Dead fast. Red. Along with some carriers, we'll get Empire of the other hand back. Saw the ship in half. Grey Ghost. We now speak to Ormos. And Shockwave. A good way to practice for Galactic Conquest? Yeah, you can do, like, the, the Thrawn campaign. Like, anything that's kind of smaller, or 1v1 even. Uh, or just, you start with more planets. Can be some better ones to start out with. Tigo, Tennessee Shield, Tigany, Long Range Shooty Boy, just uh, just focus on that then, and and Tennessee Warlord Star, for Tessa. Uh, he will benefit from uh, taking down stuff a bit faster on this one. Here, start heading towards the Golan 1. You as well. You can switch over to the Golan 3. Oh, well, you drive through. AI eventually be able to research by counts and meet it. Yes, the AI will eventually be able to do basically anything the player can. Uh, sometimes we'll be like unlocking them at specific points rather than making them do uh, do the research itself. Just because it's fun fighting things, and some of that would probably depend on the uh, on the difficulty you're in as well. But. They will have everything the player does. Just doing the uh, the research, or telling them when to research stuff. It's just more functions that Bob didn't have time to work on for it. Like they were originally did use the. Uh, even the commander system, but they would just, like, heatedly swap stuff. Alright. There we go. I reflexively want to do that because of the New Republic playthrough where I have to auto-resolve if they have an, uh, a ground cannon, but I don't have to do that here. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode. I think... That'll also have to do it for the stream today, unfortunately. Kind of a shorter one, still two hours, but... Uh, so, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Our next stream will be on Sunday. We're going to be doing uh, our first patron games in a while. But for those on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.